history is about to repeat itself. The United States government got out of the Wall Street created crash of 1907 by getting into World War I. The United States government got out of the Wall Street created crash of 1929 by getting into World War II. The United States government is preparing to get out of the Wall Street created crash of 2008 by getting into World War III. Ah, but there's a problem. In this version of the global mistake, it is the United States that is the initiator and aggressor. Germany was smart enough to refuse the role this time around. And since the end of the 19th century, every major war has been lost by the nation that started it. In the previous two world wars, the United States was a manufacturing titan. That is no longer true. The post-World War II boom years created a management void that was filled by Harvard Business School's scientific management and the MBA, creating a corporate culture with little interest in and even less respect for the actual making of products. At the end of World War II, there were over 30 US companies manufacturing TV sets. Today, there are none. So this time around, the United States lacks the thousands of factories that churned out the material needed to fight a war. Those few products we still make are low in quality and durability. Even our weapons, within which our hearts truly lie, according to George Bernard Shaw, are of, thankfully, poor effectiveness, as the USS San Antonio and the F-22s demonstrate. In the two previous wars, the American people were convinced of the moral rightness of the wars, of the necessity for good, as we defined it, to triumph over evil, again, as we defined it. But that is not true today. Americans know that the U.S. government is engaged in an invasion for economic reasons against innocent nations on the basis of lies, such as that about Saddam's non-existent nuclear weapons. The nation lacks the moral law, as Sun Tzu put it, and without the moral law, no nation ever wins a war. So the U.S. government lacks the men, the money, the morale, and the factories to sustain the material production required for a new world war. And somewhere on the road to defeat, when the U.S. government is finally confronted with the inescapable reality that they cannot win a conventional war, the president will pull that plastic card from his wallet and read off the code numbers. And once more, the United States will be the only nation in history to actually use nuclear weapons of mass destruction on the civilians of another country. Murdering a few billion people to clean up your credit score strikes me as rather extreme. But that seems to be where the government is going. There is only one way not to lose World War III, and that is not to start it.